it's happening. Two and a half pounds of rabbit. Twenty dollars forty-five cents. Seven ninety-nine a pound. Guys, I think this shit just got real. Got a foster farm chicken here. Three dollars a pound. Shows you the difference. Ground beef, three twenty-nine a pound. Six ninety nine a pound for chuck roast. So that price on rabbit, you know, it's a little bit discerning. When you compare rabbit to any other meat, whether we're talking about turkey, chicken, beef, kind of like what I was showing you in the store, and the prices are seven ninety nine a pound for rabbit, it tells you there's something going on in the food supply chain that that we're not that I'm not aware of. Um, we're in a small town here. Um, the closest, I mean, I'm out in the country, but the closest town or city is population of 2300 people tops the biggest large city is hours away so for this local grocery store to be selling rabbit at 7.99 a pound tells me there's something going on that you know i'm i'm not aware of now normally in a big city you know and by big city i mean anything incorporated that has more than 30,000 people you can you know you can naturally imagine that they're going to have some kind of speci speciality meat stuff, right? So rabbit, duck, these are things that would be considered, you know, spe speciality meat. Um, but here in a small town, I mean, that's not, you're not going to have, you're not going to have those types of speciality meats that are going to be able to be profitable, especially with people that, you know, are rustic and grow a lot of their own food. So for the price per pound of rabbit to be higher than beef, for example, or chuck steak, shows that, like I said, there's definitely there's definitely more going on than what meets the eye. Now, what I'm not going to do is go into these conspiracies and food shortages because there are no food shortages. Um, is, is it discerning? Sure, from from an economic standpoint. But am I worried? No, because I produce all the all the animal products that I need. All my meat sources I produce myself, so I'm not worried about it. I mean, the store could decide tomorrow after this. You know, if Biden's elected in the new Green Deal and Let's say there are no more animal products in the store at all. It's not going to change how I eat. So I'm not worried about that in the slightest. But it does show that from an economic standpoint, um, from a commerce standpoint, there's something going on in the food chain. And for those of you that are dependent on the grocery store for your food, that should be a little discerning to you. Especially since rabbits are and historically have been the food of most prevalence and sustainability. I mean, to produce a pound of rabbit it's almost free. I mean, literally it is free here on the homestead. It's free. I mean, as long as I have grass, I have rabbit. It's one of the easiest, most sustainable meat sources to produce. That's why countries all over the world have adopted rabbits into their agricultural programs and have encouraged their people to grow and grow and raise rabbits for that, for that reason. And then, so to see this in a grocery store at seven ninety nine a pound, wow, that there's something, there's something going on here. Now, is it maybe just money to be made? Sure. And that's the that's the market I would love to get into at this point, if that's the case. So, you know, looking at it, you know, we have a few options here that we have to consider. So really, there are a few possibilities. Um, it could be that as a food producer myself, I'm just not noticing that there is a larger demand for rabbits. So you guys might be saying, yeah, dude, rabbit meat's making a comeback. Cool. Unaware of it. Um, now that I know, that's a good market to start getting into. Maybe there is some red tape bureaucracy that is involved in the harvesting and production of rabbit meat. I'm unaware of this. If so, if there is, maybe there's some red tape that's making the prices go up. Um, a little discerning because people, I mean, I can't imagine people don't spend $7.99 on chicken now and be happy about it. I can't imagine who's going to, you know, willingly buy $7.99 a pound rabbit product. I just, I don't see why anybody would do that, especially given how easy it is to produce yourself. And third, which is probably one of the most incendiary things, is we're going to see a total change in our supply system in general. Maybe we're on the precipice of something. Now, I'm not going to speculate. I don't think that's the case. But, you know, when I'm watching these trends, I look at what's real. You know, prices are real. Um, the product is real. So I can't for the life of me understand why anybody here would spend $7.99 for a pound of rabbit. Then again... Maybe there's there's a new need for it that I'm unaware of, but I just I don't see why anybody would do that. Um, 
those prices seem, you know, very unreasonably high compared to other other animal products. But maybe this is, you know, foreshadowing of things to come. And maybe it's something that, you know, we're going to see a switch. And, you know, with a Biden presidency, you know, we can totally expect to see these food changes happen, you know, at a very quick policy, at a very quick policy rate. I mean, really, literally with the, you know, signing of a pen, our whole agricultural sector could change. And that's not meant to scare you because, you know, the American people voted, you know, if this is what they want, that's what they're going to get. So for those of you that aren't under that ideology or under that thought process, just realize enough people in the United States of America want these changes to happen. So if you do start to see these changes happen, especially astronomical high prices on animal products and less availability in the grocery store, um, I don't want to tell you. I mean, that's that's what a Biden presidency, presidency is going to do. So by policy, the trends that I'm seeing now, I can expect to see more of them. Am I worried about it? Not at all, because I haven't depended on the grocery store for a while now. So I'm not worried about it, but it's something as a food producer that I'm looking at that does give me pause because it's, you know, things more to come. I mean, we can expect to see more of this under a Biden presidency. So take a look at that, guys, and I encourage you guys. Get some more pets. So there you have it, guys. Be mindful. Be watchful. Do things with a purpose. Keep track of trends. And get yourself a whole bunch of pets. <laughs> as always, guys. As always. Long live the Republic. <laughs>